my, my name is Dale Manami. I was one of the founders of the Law Caucus in 1972. Uh, I can't believe it's 37 years. You know, there's so many fights that the Asian Law Caucus has undertaken for our community. Their work has reverberated throughout our country. They've really been a trailblazer in so many issues that we care about. And the caucus has always been a part of a movement and as a part of being able to think in the long haul if we really still think it's possible uh, to build a multicultural democracy. Our whole goal was to empower this community and not as lawyers winning battles for our clients but helping clients win battles for themselves. Whether it be through communications, through mobilizing the community, through strategic litigation, TT and the caucus are part of the new vanguard of moving forward a progressive vision. You know, it's really a privilege to lead the organization at this point in the organization's development. I feel like, you know, we've we have a really long track record of responding to the needs in the Asian community. But I think you know, the other really powerful thing is that while we have the connection to our past and the strong base of support, we also are always looking to see you know, what is the new dimension that we have to add on in order for our work to achieve as much impact as it possibly can. Just having this conviction cleared, I'm very happy. But there is a lot more to be done yet and that it will never happen again to any American citizen just because he looks a little different from others. When I was in law school and first read the Korematsu case in constitutional law class, I was horrified at how our community was treated by our national leadership. And so when I learned about what the caucus was doing with the Korematsu case, it was eye-opening to me as a young law student to, to think about what one could do with the law. The Asian Law Caucus was a key part of Fred Korematsu's legal team. It was the only organization involved that had resources to devote to this. Well, my father was a very humble person. Everyone that met him just was very endearing to him and he touched everybody's soul. These cases began by huge acts of courage of individuals but ultimately raised an important issue before the American public. Little did we know after 9-11 that my father's quorum nobis decision would have more relevance and impact you know, now than it even did in 1983. We knew that one of the most important components was going to be education. And so to have a Korematsu Institute continue that legacy of Fred's fight and the legacy of education that we intended to promote is, is remarkable and it's wonderful. We have a number of key programs at the caucus. One program that is really important and led us to even be in this space here at 55 Columbus is our program on housing and community development. So the housing and community development program really focuses on preserving the low income housing stock, particularly in areas that are gateway communities for low income recent immigrants. On our case, actually, 我們這個五十三號這個大廈入面當時呢先生卡爾處和我們的業主買了個大廈的時候呢是在口頭協議呢是應承了我們的業主是妥善安排我們呢二十一户的乘客的一個住客的但是呢到了後期呢他就因為先
我哋咧就同斯斯卡克厨咧就打咗八年嘅官司。咁喺呢八年入面咧，经历咗好多风雨。咁但系咧，亚洲法律会都不离不弃咁样嚟支持我哋，所以我哋呢度真系好衷心感激我哋佢哋。咁特别最后喺官司过程入面咧，斯斯卡克厨咧就系、是。啊！同我哋庭外和解，就賣咗呢個大廈俾我哋嘅住客。咁亞洲法聯會咧，亦都好熱心咁樣幫我哋搞，成立咗一個叫做西蘭市土地信託基金嘅機構嚟嚟幫誒幫助我哋。咁咧就先至搞到今日咁嘅局面，使我哋擁有一個自己嘅家。My Spanish is not very good. My Cantonese is decent, so I'll stick with English. Um, hello? Okay, great. Um, so the San Francisco Immigrant Rights Defense Committee is the coalition of organizations that have organized this town hall tonight. And on behalf of the San Francisco Immigrant Rights Defense Committee, we welcome everyone. So my name is Francisco Ugarte. I'm an immigration attorney uh, with Dolores Street Community Services, and we are part of the San Francisco Immigrant Legal and Education Network. We've been around for a couple of years. It's a pretty novel collaboration. The Asian Law Caucus is a pretty big part of the network. There were 11 simultaneous home raids in the city of San Francisco. Um, from that point forward, we realized that many of these folks did not have any criminal convictions. They were stopped illegally. They were detained unlawfully. And Sinyan and I helped and assisted many of these people who were caught up in the raids in um, fighting their deportation case. And unfortunately, today, the raids are targeting the Latino community. And Asian Law Caucus is there uh, supporting the Latino community in ways really, I'm not really sure if, if the public is aware of. We saw a great need for a free legal service to um, accompany the, the great advocacy that UTW does. And we also wanted to help UTW um, sort of re-energize their membership to sort of reflect more of the um, immigrant community.